I wanted to work with people, number one. I wanted to be able to use my brain, but also use my hand. And I wanted to be in a profession which would uh, be, which would require, which would allow me to have a job for many years, to be able to have things that I feel are important um, for an occupation, but now being able to help people becomes even better. So. The other thing is, I, I would go to physical therapy sessions because my grandmother had broken her ankle, my mother had a frozen shoulder, so as a child I would be in the, I would go with them to the physical therapy visits. Without I do. And I really enjoyed the relationship that the physical therapist had with you know, my family when we would go. I saw that he was able to communicate with a lot of people, he was helping them, he was a very happy person, and it seemed like he really enjoyed what he was doing. So when it was time for me to go to college and decide what to do, I always had that in my mind. And so I volunteered at a physical therapy clinic, actually here at the hospital at USC. And I, I uh, lived it and felt that it was something that I was going to pursue. And I'm glad I did. Setting wise. Setting. It was a hospital based outpatient clinic here um, in Los Angeles. Was it USC? It was at Kaiser Permanente. Oh, it was fine. <coughs> yes. Okay. So when I started working, it had only been like three months. I was a new grad, basically. And there were two women and one male who were working with patients with pelvic health problems. And so the one male had left, and that left an opening. So our director asked if I was interested in getting involved with working with men's pelvic health. So one of the, the other key factors is that one of the females was very well known. Her name is Beate Cardier. She's from Germany, but she was working here. And she had written many books on pelvic health and was a very good resource. So I figured, what an opportunity to learn from somebody who knew so much and who was a coworker. And this could allow me to continue to learn. <coughs> and at first, I was seeing women and men. Mm -hmm. And then over time, I decided that I was just going to stick with the men. Being a male, working with men, because there are very few men involved with treating patients with pelvic health disorders. Yeah. So I was trying to make that a specialty. So far, so good. So males who have pelvic health conditions are, or issues are really going to be those perhaps who have had prostate cancer and have had a prostatectomy, where the prostate gland is removed. In which case, some of the muscles underneath the prostate gland, which is our external urethral sphincter, may need some rehabilitation to restore bladder control. So men would typically leak after the surgery. And so, just like with any other surgery, physical therapy can be very helpful to them to help them recover their muscle control. That, that's one piece. So yeah, it doesn't know. The other thing would be, Oftentimes, men may also have bladder cancer, in which case they have a bladder removal, as well as the prostate gland. And then that group would also require pelvic floor muscle exercises to restore bladder control. And those are patients, the ones that need down training are those that, that may have pain, muscle spasm in their pelvic muscles, or they do not evacuate well, they don't void well, whether it's urination or defecation. They require training and relaxation type techniques and maybe some manual therapy to quiet their muscles so that they're able to relax better and void appropriately and reduce symptoms of pain. <laughs>